welcome to Data Drivers. I'm Andrew Smith of Think Uncommon. This series examines how retailers are winning by developing an informed relationship with their customers, by better understanding what their customers want, and using data and analytics to deliver increased sales. In this episode, we'll explore how retail analytics is revolutionizing supply chain operations and logistics, allowing retailers to better predict demand, optimize inventory, and ultimately improve the customer experience. Through advanced data collection and predictive modeling techniques, retailers are able to gain real-time insights into their supply chain, enabling them to make more informed decisions and streamline their operations for maximum efficiency. So whether it's optimizing shipping routes or reducing inventory waste, the use of retail analytics is transforming the way retailers do business. So join us as we take a deep dive into the world of retail analytics and discover how it's helping retailers to stay ahead of the game in today's ever-changing marketplace. You have to start with the big picture. There are two great enablers that make retail in all of its forms, physical store, all the various digital channels, two enablers that make everything work. On one side, you have all things logistics, supply chain, and fulfillment. And on the other side, all things technology. So data, IT, tech tools. It's so important for any brand or retailer to really master those at the bottom of the pyramid. And then you work your way up to consumer centricity. And, and it's also no coincidence, uh, you know, to the point of the question, that how you do on logistics and fulfillment is directly related to data, data science, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and your tech stack. So, you know, you really start there two great enablers, then work your way up the pyramid. So when you think about the use of data in this, you know, it's, it's, it seems fairly simple that, of course, the more information I can provide along the entire supply chain fulfillment journey to that end customer, the happier she will be because she'll know exactly when to expect products, where the products are, things of that nature. So, you know, from that perspective, um, I think that's a huge opportunity. And of course, as consumers, we've gotten kind of used to it from the standpoint of, you know, if I order something, I will be able to track it on a FedEx or a UPS site, or even someone like an Amazon or a Walmart will show me. But the reality is behind all this, it's very complicated, right? To aggregate all that data, to find it, to have the real-time data, to cleanse it, and then to leverage it. But for us, you know, for me, what I see again, that opportunity to harness that data, to provide greater visibility to the end customer about their products and their order and the fulfillment, I think is, is really where we're going today. I think um, it all comes down to visibility, right? Um, you're only going to be as efficient and you're only going to be as fast and you're only going to be as consumer centric as much as you have visibility. For years, we had no visibility on ocean. We knew something went on to a ship. We didn't know when it was going to arrive. We had the schedule, but we had no idea. You know, you know there could be anything like weather conditions where could delay or as, as we encountered over the last couple of years, port delays, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. But we had no real data insights as to that. But now we've, you know, the, the, the shipping companies have developed some degree of visibility. I think that it's a visibility that's key to helping us to, to improve. If we don't know what it is, it's hard for us to manage it. If we now know what it is, if we have the data that allows us to do that, we can now do something about that to improve that performance. I also want to collaborate with suppliers and channel partners to gather signal to improve that visibility. It takes a village. So incorporating systems like logistics management, fleet tracking, product traceability, and of course, as I mentioned, the signal from consumers who actually vote with their wallets to identify demand. So the key is it's not just this myriad technology, but it's also the collaboration of all that so I can make well-informed decisions. As I look at the ability for our supply chains in retail to be more connected, to be more transparent, I think that there's gonna be a whole host of new use cases being opened up for not only us, the consumer, but for all the players within that supply chain to make things even more efficient. And again, bottom line, to satisfy our, the consumer's needs and desires. So the biggest trend at the moment is leveraging data to improve the supply chain visibility and efficiency, and that by 
we're seeing concepts like digital twin and control towers. So that these concepts provide the company with a snapshot of the operation at a point in time in order to perform risk assessment and modeling. But also, they will trigger action based on events that causes disruption in supply chain. One of the things I've been thinking about uh, around this whole idea of how do we use analytics what we've got now is around the, the precision of our forecasts. So we can actually collect data of when an item at a store went out of stock. And that has a direct impact on our actual sales reported for that week. So if we imagine that we projected an item to have 70 sales as part of our assortment plan, and we had all, ourselves geared up to replenish that one for one, so we'd be pushing across 70. But imagine that item ran out on the second day. It only sold 40, so we'll only send in 40, but we would just be able to strangle that product down to a situation it could actually be delisted. When if we knew that it actually sold out after two days, it was actually twice as good as our projections. We haven't had that level of visibility because if we imagine that we're in a store, we've got 10, 15, 20,000 SKUs, we would have said that that's just like a mountain of data to climb over. And by the time we've climbed over it, we're like two months later and it's too late. But with modern technology, we can actually start to pull that together and give them effective a computer or a software to bring that together and present the essential information that we need. There are some consumers who are happy to wait four to five days to get a new sweater. And there are some consumers who need a, a blouse delivered to their house that afternoon for, for a party that evening. It all comes down to visibility, right? Um, you're only gonna be as efficient um, and you're only gonna be as fast and you're only gonna be as consumer centric as much as you have visibility. So, you know, really from factory floor to ocean freight, to air freight, port to port, uh, in the truck, on the way to the store, last mile. Um, so, you know, having visibility in something we call real-time container flow. Um, there's some great technology out there that helps you monitor where everything you're looking for is, is in the world. Another great one is GPS for final mile delivery. I know as a consumer myself, I love, you know, not just knowing that it's out for delivery, um, but, you know, as a consumer, I want to see where is it. And, and look, as the seller, you want to know where it is too. And so GPS is a, a great, great tool to, to get that visibility. Um, and, and all of these things, by the way, really add up to what? Real-time business decision-making. Um, if you see a bottleneck somewhere in, in the supply chain or in, in the fulfillment process, um, things like GPS and real-time visibility allow you to make uh, decisions on the fly. In our next episode, as part of our Modern Retail Experience series, we'll explore how brick and mortar is changing alongside consumer expectations, purchasing behavior, and the advancing technologies we're seeing in stores. To learn more about the Retail Cloud Alliance, don't forget to click the link below and subscribe to our channel so you are first in line to watch the latest episodes. I'm Andrew Smith, and thank you for joining us for another episode of Data Drivers.